with Iran's dreaded Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, now engaged in proxy warfare against a U.S. military, its arsenal is being adapted for the mission, albeit in ways that have gone unnoticed. A subtle yet worrying development emerged last year, months before the death of Lt. Gen. Soleimani triggered retaliation attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq when the IRGC's leadership and Iranian media highlighted progress in new combat vehicles. At the forefront of the well-orchestrated campaign is an innocuous pickup truck assembled with parts supplied by China. Since August 2019 the RS-2 has enjoyed unprecedented coverage that revealed more than it should. Apparently, the IRGC and perhaps the Ardish believe a single pickup truck model can fulfill all their needs. At a military equipment exhibition last December attended by Iran's highest-ranking generals, pictured above his chief of staff Gen. Mohammad Bagheri and Defense Minister Amir Hatami, in a gray jacket, several RS-2 variants were captured in the background during a press conference. Two of these modified pickup trucks were artillery systems, while another was the Piruzer and RS-2, equipped with four Delavia ATGMs. The Delavia is an Iranian copy of the Russian Cornet that's considered among the deadliest anti-armor weapons in the world today. The artillery systems behind Gen. Bagheri and the defense minister are a self-propelled mortar of unknown caliber and a multi-caliber rocket artillery launcher. Iran's DO, which oversees a network of state-owned factories for producing war material, boasts an impressive missile and rocket artillery catalog. Calibers ranging from 107mm to 122mm have been exported abroad and launched in anger against U.S. forces in Iraq. The DO also has portable or miniaturized large-caliber 240mm and 333mm rockets that can be loaded on small vehicles. An interesting detail about the RS-2 rocket artillery system at the December exhibition is its hydraulic legs were folded beneath the launcher. This indicates the vehicle is fully stabilized before use and was engineered for mass production, rather than being an impromptu project. Months earlier, at the annual Sacred Defense Military Parade in Tehran that commemorates the beginning of the Iran-Iraq War, the RS-2 was ubiquitous as a ceremonial vehicle and a showcase for homegrown weapons. These included an RS-2 mounting at least eight launch tubes for 122mm Grad rockets Iranian copies of the prolific Russian munitions. Pickup trucks converted to rocket launchers are far from a recent wartime innovation, but enjoyed a resurgence in Syria, where the Iran-backed regime forces and their rivals deploy whatever artillery systems can be put together in local workshops. With the RS-2, the IRGC have gone beyond expectations and pushed for a whole family of weapons that fit on the truck's bed. As early as August the RS-2's unveiling by Iranian media inadvertently showed it mounts 107mm rocket launchers and an unspecified automatic mortar for direct and indirect fire. Either variant had customized beds suggesting the RS-2 is tailored for each of the weapons it's meant to carry. Why do Iran's competing military institutions, the Ardish and the IRGC, seem to have high hopes over an unarmored pickup truck? Cost is certainly a factor since an active production line of pickup trucks is easier to maintain than a production line for main battle tanks. Recent experience does matter and the IRGC's lessons learned from Syria and Iraq showed the value of small trucks with large armaments, especially when used en masse. Safar jeeps with 12-barrel rocket launchers, for example, were very effective at bombardment, while the Safars equipped with 105mm recoilless rifles packed almost as much firepower as a tank. Iran's car manufacturing sector is able to roll out over a million vehicles a year. If the RS-2's production is limited to less than a thousand trucks per annum, this is enough for supplying the IRGC and its regional proxies. This outcome has consequences for many U.S. allies in the Middle East. So far, an RS-2 is able to support the following weapon stations. 
multi-caliber rocket launcher for 107mm, 122mm, and 333mm munitions. Medium caliber mortar on a pivoting stand. Automatic medium caliber mortar similar to the 2B9M Basilek. Fourteen point five millimeters heavy machine gun on a pivoting stand, manually operated. Twelve point seven millimeters and seven point six two millimeters minigun on a pivoting stand, manually and remote operated.